So last week, I released some presets uh, that were presets to the profiles here inside the camera calibration panel inside of Lightroom. And, and I realized that there was a lot of questions around the presets. Um, and I realized that I kind of did a poor job of explaining them because these were actually different presets than normal, okay? All I did was create a preset that used a setting that was already here rather than most of the presets that I release, which are, which are recipes, which are, you know, my own personal combination of settings that I turn into a preset. The presets I did for the, the profiles over here, all that they, they were, they were already settings. I just made presets of them. Okay. So I want to explain a little bit more about them because I think they are very useful and I think we can, I, I think there's a lot to be taken from them. You just kind of, kind of, you got to kind of know what they're, what they're there for. Okay. So here's the deal. I made presets. If you go down here to the camera calibration panel in the develop module, if you go down the profile, and this is only for raw photos, it doesn't work for JPEG photos. You'll see that I have like camera landscape, neutral, portrait, standard, vivid. Um, these are picture styles that I could set inside my Nikon camera. If you're shooting with Canon, they're going to be different. If you're shooting with another camera, they're going to be different. So um, they, they are very much camera based, but these are picture styles. They simulate picture styles because when you shoot in raw, no matter what you had set in your camera, when you open it up inside a Lightroom or Camera Raw for that matter, it's just going to show you the default, the Adobe standard, not changed at all profile. Okay. And you wonder why your photo looks a little bit flat. It's because it's not applying the preset to it like it did on the back of your camera when you saw your photo. So you come over here and you click on it and it's like a little special sauce. It has contrast and some color saturation to it. All right. So these presets that I made over here, if you look at them, well, if I click on one, all it does is change the profile over here. It's, it's just a shortcut to change that. I don't really envision that you would use it instead of coming over here to change it. Okay, that's not really, uh, to me, that's not the best use of a preset. Where I would envision you use it is, is twofold. One of them would be if you have the navigator panel open up here. Okay, I can just hover over the presets and I can get a feel for how they look. Okay. It's the same. I have some white balance presets. I, I, all I did was just create all the different white balance. I turned all these different white balance presets into actual presets over here because I can't hover over these and see a change. I have to click on each one. Same thing with the profiles. Now you can hover over them and you just kind of pick which one you like better just from hovering over. Cause you see the preview right up here in the navigator. Now that to me, that that's not the really big one. The really big one is inside the import dialog. When you go to import your photos into Lightroom, it gives you an option over here under apply during import to apply a preset. So I can go to my Lightroom presets. And now if I have a favorite preset, like I, like, let's say I just went on a landscape shoot and I know I always like the light, the Nikon landscape profile apply to my photos. Well, I just click that preset here. When I click import, Lightroom's going to automatically go through and apply that preset to all my photos as I do the import rather than me going through and changing it after the fact, rather than me already importing them and then having to go through and change them. So that to me, that that's really one of the most powerful ways to use the presets to the camera calibration panel. If you use them in the import dialog box, because generally if you're walking around shooting, you're, you're out in a portrait shoot, well, use the portrait preset. You're out in a landscape shoot, landscape vivid tend to work really well. Okay. Neutral standard. I've, I've never really heard anybody say that they love them. So to me, it's either landscape or vivid and then the portrait one for portraits. So it's pretty easy to choose. And, and when you do your import, you can choose one of those presets because when you do your import, there's no way for you to specify develop settings other than to have them as a preset over here. Okay. That's the only way you can specify certain develop settings for that. So that's why I would use them. And I realized that, you know, when I saw the questions on that blog post with the presets of why people would use these, um, I think those are the reasons why. Okay. In the import dialog box or just over here in the navigator, instead of going over here and, and clicking on each one to see how it looks, just hover over them. And you can see the preview right there inside the navigator. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped out a little bit. Uh, real quick, I started, uh, I kind of turned my portfolio website into a blog as well. My portfolio is still there, but I turned it into a blog as well and been uh, doing a lot of stuff over there. Kind of different from Lightroom because Lightroom Killer Tips, I think, should be primarily Lightroom. So uh, you can check it out over at mattkleskowski.com. I'd sure appreciate it if you stop by. Other than that, have a great day and I'll talk to you again very soon.